Well, today we are taking the marble board, the cheese, the crackers, and the fruit, and we're putting them together into some displays. So stay tuned and see how fun and easy it is to make this project come together. All right, so let's get our cheese board put together. And I decided I've got so many things I want to use on this that I don't have room on the marble board for everything. So I got out this, it's just a wooden round that you buy at the craft store. And that is what my um, brie is going to go on. So pop that off. I've just left that on my tile. Now I am using TLS today to do my assembly. A couple of reasons for that. Number one, it it's here. I want to get this used up. Also, this will be a permanent display then. There will be no um, falling apart like glue sometimes can. Just spreading some on the bottom while I'm talking. Uh, and it won't make that um, glossy spot, that shiny spot that glue can sometimes leave. Most glues that are compatible with polymer clay tend to leave a shiny spot. Push that down. I am going to get a Q-tip or a cotton swab because I have a bit more poking up through here than I want. I do want to clean this up as best I can. There. Now that is ready to go in the oven. So let's start assembling this. So how much do we have room for? Well, we're not going to get it all, I don't think. And I see, I'm going to have to pause for just a moment because I have to plug my camera in. The battery is starting to blink. So I'll be right back. All right, much better. I've got my battery charger plugged into my camera. I'm going to pop this up. Now, I would love to have all of these on here, but I'm just not sure. Let's see. Because I want to get the crackers and I want to get at least some of the fruit. I think I want this one over here, this one here. If I did this. And I recommend you do try this out, you know, kind of play with it, kind of decide where you want everything. And I will probably do this in not all at once. I don't think I'll bake all of this at once. Put, I just want the cheese all the way on the board. Hmm. We may end up skipping the apples. Ah, let's get some crackers out and get a look at them. I think. what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the big pieces in now. I'm going to bake this off. Oops, let's get whatever this gunk is on the top of my cheese, on my grape. All right, so let's go ahead and stick these down with a little TLS because I like that placement. And it just takes a little Let's um, let's do this. This will be easier. A hair. Kind of do a dip.
All right, I'm going to bake that much, and then when it's baked and cooled, I'll come back and we'll add some cheese slices and some crackers and see if we've got room for anything else. So I'll be back in a second. All right, so this is baked. It's not completely baked. I only baked it about probably four minutes, just enough to harden that initial batch of TLS so that these don't move around. Let me get some more TLS out of my plate here. Now let's play with where to put... I may have to put my crackers somewhere else. And that's okay. I can put my crackers somewhere else. Oops, come back here. I think I might do that, and I actually did bake off another one of these rounds the other day. I think I'll put my crackers just on here. So let's um, get out a few crackers. Ah, come on, stay. Let's get one more on there, and then I think I'm going to have to bake. Whoopsie. All right. This is why I should not be working across my other project. Let's put some, stick that cheese down. I need a third piece of this. I feel like I'm getting way too quiet because I'm busy thinking about what I'm doing. All right, that's fine. Put that off to the side. Let's, maybe we could put, do we want to put the apple slices over here? Maybe that would be kind of nice. Let me see if... there and then we'll put actually I think uh, where's my there get my see if these are light enough to use them yeah. come on nope they weigh just a little too much printer's deciding to turn off.
Let's get some crackers, some more crackers on there. All right, I think I'm going to go bake this much of this off so that I don't have things moving. And um, after I fix that, I don't like where that went. Come on. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to go get these baked so that that TLS is set up. And then when they get cool again, I'll come back and we'll add more crackers to our little platter there. All right, so this is now baked off. So let's add some more crackers. Let's get a few of these on in the front. And this is just going to be a process of adding a few crackers and then baking it off and then adding a few more and baking off because if we add too many at a time they just slide all over. Dip into my TLS. The beauty of TLS is I could leave this out for weeks and it would still be just fine on that tile. The only danger is I'm liable to set something on it or it gets dirty. So I will scrape off most of it and put it back in the bottle. more of these. And let's get a few more of this kind of cracker on there. And then I think we're going to call it good. Oh, I'll show you something else we can do. Let's put some more of these on the Just a couple more. I think we might as well put a few more apple slices on too. Oh, come on. That's not where I want you. Come on. Yeah, 
And you can either arrange these neatly and, you know, like a very intricate design, or you can just kind of pile them on there like I'm doing right now, because, quite frankly, I just don't feel like sitting here all day and arranging stuff. There. Let's put a couple more of these on. I wonder if I can do a couple more without knocking that all loose. Now when you do your final baking, uh, when you've got everything in place and you're not going to add any more, bake it for a, make sure you bake it for a full 10 minutes. That will set any of the, um, set all of the TLS throughout the project. But that's all there is to it. I'm going to bake this off, get everything baked. When it's baked and cooled, I'll come back and we'll take a look at the finished product. All right, here they are. They are baked and cooled and ready for the dolls to put on the buffet or party table. I hope you enjoyed this multi-video project that we've done. I love doing these longer projects. They're a lot of fun for me to create and I can get a little more involved in something. So be sure and check the blog post. There'll be photos there. Um, if you haven't found us on Facebook, I'd love to have you join us on Facebook. We have fun over there, and I usually give you a teaser photo of what the video will be. And if for some reason I won't be putting a video up, I let them let you know over on Facebook too. So I'll talk to you later. Bye.